And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. The center fielder, number 12, Trent Grisham. Here's a 1-1. Right side. France steps on the bag. One out in the top of the first. Here is Glaber Torres. Second in the American League in hitting. There's a swing and a drive. And gone! Home run number 15 on the year. And that gives him the lead. It's 1-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One down. Juan Soto now. The count 2-1. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! He blasts one out to right. His 32nd of the year. And they add on. It's 2-0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Ground ball up the middle. On to France. Out. Judge out on the play. Talk about being able to dial up the, the velocity. Baseman. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Next offering is downstairs. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And now it's three and two. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Bounced up the middle. Crawford. Third out, and that ends the frame. And now the rookie second baseman, Jose Caballero. The second baseman. Okay. Rodon ready. Here comes. And right back to the mound. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's Josh Rojas. The designated hitter. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. The one two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Grisham makes the grab for the second out. That Two outs, third. base is empty. And up three. next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Three two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Got him looking for the strikeout. Back in Seattle, second inning set to go. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. That one finds the zone. And now two and two. Line drive. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. And up next for New York, Oswald Peraza. One down, base is empty. In the air on the infield. Makes the catch. And there are two outs. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. Well. 
Here's a 1 1. Center field. Rodriguez settles under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Bottom of the second. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Cal Raleigh. The 1 1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now the count is even. Nobody out. Runner at first. Now fly ball to right center. Long run, nice grab. And there's one away. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Swings through that one for strike two. Battling here as he fouls it away. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Raleigh, ground second on his way to third. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Enters the day third in the American League batting race. Liner, base hit. One run across, flying around third is France. He'll score, and the Mariners have tied the game. It's 2-2. Really nice job of two-strike hitting and that at bat. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered, but foul. Rodon fires. Oh. And now the count filled up three and two. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. His seventh home run of the season. And they add a couple more. It's 4-2. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Here's Jared Kelnick. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. In there. And so now one and two. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back to the top now of the lineup. Down. Now it's the second, second baseman, baseman, Jose Caballero. Caballero. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That one missed. Next offering is in the dirt. Cuts and misses. It's a strike. Top half of the third inning at the play. Trent Grisham. Kicks and fires. Ripped to first. Caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. In the air, center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the grab. And there's two away. And now it's Juan Soto. He's already homered in this one. Next pitch downstairs. And yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a miss. The 2-2. Hot 
hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. As we go to the last of the third, now it's the DH, Josh Rojas. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Just off the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. The 1 1. That's a strike. Good eye right there. Oh, he missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. Next offering okay. misses down and away. The 3 2 oh, is man. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's yeah. designed to fool you, but he just wasn't fooled at all. Runner on the goal. Cut on and miss. No, he threw a second great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Flat out his first time. Pitch misses there, and a count two and one. There's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. They say it went. You know, these Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The pitch. And a curve is down and in. Two balls, one strike. On the ground. On to France. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And it's a one two. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four, and stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. J.P. Crawford now at the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball evens the count. Now this is in the air down the line. Hauls it in for the out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The one, two. Swing and a miss, the velocity. Ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Run around the goal. Line drive, base hit. Ball comes in quickly. 
So despite the hit and run, it'll be runners at first and second. Yeah, well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Shorten up the swing and went right back up the middle. And now Austin Wells gets the bunt down the right side. Goes to second, you, safe you. there. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Hammer could be extra bases. One runs in, another comes in to score. Here comes Wells around third. He is safe. 5-4 now as they take the lead. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And a base hit up the middle. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. New pitcher for the Mariners, number 37. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season. So we'll see what kind of command he has. a base hit run scores a couple of singles back to back 112 miles per hour all seem to explode off the bat right there he put everything together on that swing so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet and now big number 99 Aaron Judge Crawford to second a sensational double play well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Torres on third with two out. Tapped up the first base side. France. He'll do it himself. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for Seattle, Jared Kelman. Jared Kelman. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Lined into right, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Jose Caballero digs in now. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down any time. And now the lefty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. He goes down looking. The designated hitter. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Josh Rojas. Here's a 1 1. Lined in the left center, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in and into second easily with a two out double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. New pitcher for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. He last pitched two days ago. Now it's going to be Julio Rodriguez. And it's filled up. And a swing and a miss. 
That's the third out. Inning over. And now it's John Carlos Stanton. And a 1-1. -one -one. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. You know, these Yankees, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Crawford sends it across the first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. And he grounds one back up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. And next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Runner on the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Flips it from the ground. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in block. They have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer. Pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. One and two now. Rudder takes off. Caballero. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Rowland. Next pitch is outside. Got him. Now one away. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Next pitch misses way outside. And there's Take ball four. So digging in, Ty France. This one popped up. Torres under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. J.P. Crawford, the next to hit. And he's back safely. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. One ball. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Taylor Saucedo on the pitch here. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. In the air to left center. And that'll fall for a base hit. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's runner. not really a... Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that ball is out of here. He sends a rocket to left. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-4. Breaking ball on the outside corner requires the hitter to remain patient. If you leak too soon, you're going to roll over on it or you're going to swing and miss. Perfect mechanics right there. Nice home run. Here's Juan Soto. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The other way, and he beats the shift. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so... Pretty incredible hands to fight it off. Fired to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. 
Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Giancarlo Stanton. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Justin Topa. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Next to hit, Oswaldo Cabrera. The one-two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. That misses the zone, and the count's even at two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Makes the play, and it's out. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. On the ground, out to short. Throws across the diamond, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Hey, Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. He's already homered here in this one. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. And he takes a strike. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Seattle, Jared Kelnick. Come back to the mound, and that squirts through. And that keeps the inning alive. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Digging in, Jose Caballero. Swing, and he breaks his bat. And that's a foul ball. Kelnick leads off first with two down to the inning. And now it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stick. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Bangs off the wall. Scrambles back to second safely. A run comes in and a play. Back-to-back -back base hits. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Oops, he came home with it. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now a snap throw down to third. Two outs and one in scoring position. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Victor Gonzalez. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now, here is Josh Rojas. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And now it's even up. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Back at T-Mobile Park, and the batter will be the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. And here it comes. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses. It's two and two. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And up next for New York, Austin Wells. The 1-1. One, one. Rip to right, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. 
and a pitch. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Here's Glaber Torres. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And the right hander deals. Out towards left center. Kelnick moving under it. Hauls it in two away. Now the youngster now Juan Soto. The 1-1. One, one. Little chopper rolls foul. One, two now. Hit on the ground to the right side. He handles it himself, and that is ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And he deals. Oh. That misses, and it's three and two. Three and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes, one away. Cal Raleigh getting ready to hit, one for three. One, one now. Just missed. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And the batter now, Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Swing and a base hit. The throw into second. In there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. New arm out of the bullpen. Scott Efron. Ah, the throw in time to get him. And that does it for the inning. Andres Munoz on a pitch out of the pen here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Righty delivers. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Ball to strike. The pitch. Base knock center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. The 1-1. One, one. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. This to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. The one, two. Rizzo off of first with two away. In the air, out towards left center. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic now double. Back. So two down. Oswald Peraza will hit next. Here's a 1-1. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Zips it to first. And that is that. 
back here at the ballpark. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Three, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Grisham settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Jared Kelnick up next for the Mariners. Left hand hitter waits. That one ripped. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees have won four in a row. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And this one ends with the score 8-5 to five for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew.